Hello and welcome to a preview of the kindergarten program at Bethesda Christian School. My name is April Jones. I'm the elementary principal at BCS. Thank you for joining us. We know your time is valuable and we hope this video will help your family to envision your child as a future ambassador scholar at Bethesda. Today you are going to meet our kindergarten team, hear about a day in the life of a kindergarten class, and peek into the specialty classes that help enrich the kindergarten experience. With dozens of years of experience in education, our kindergarten teachers are well equipped to prepare your child for their God-given purpose. In addition to phonics, handwriting, math, history, and science, our kindergarten students enjoy co-curricular classes that help round out an enriching academic experience at Bethesda Christian School. Acknowledging the need for physical play and development, elementary classes have PE on a daily basis and two scheduled recess breaks. Even on bad weather days, students have the chance to imagine and explore through play in our indoor play zone. Elementary students also make a weekly rotation through art, music, technology, library, and conversational Spanish. With an average class size of only 10 to 12 students, our incredible teachers will provide your student the attention they deserve. Not to mention, we're one of the most affordable Christ-centered schools in the DFW Metroplex. Our team includes Jessica Patino, Diane Smith, and lead teacher Kim Holloway. Hi, I'm Ms. Patino. And I'm Mrs. Smith. And we are part of the kindergarten team here at Bethesda. We are so blessed to get to train hearts, to get to stretch their little minds, and to get to grow into the Lord every single day. We love having our children here and doing fun, exciting activities with them, and we can't wait to get to know you for this upcoming year. Come join us. Let's join Mrs. Holloway to hear more about daily life for our youngest ambassadors. Hi, come on in. Welcome to my kindergarten classroom. I'm Mrs. Holloway, and I teach kindergarten with two other ladies, Mrs. Smith and Miss Patino. We have 10 boys and girls, 11, 10 and 11, our cap is 12 students in our classroom. That's a great ratio, 1 to 12. We become a kindergarten family. My boys and girls right now are in their specialty class this morning, so I'd like to share this time talking to you about kindergarten. I'm going to walk you through a typical day in kindergarten. First of all, students can arrive as early as 740 and we, they arrive up through 8 o'clock and then we do our pledges, our class first, and we get our day started. One of the first things that we do is our math meeting. I tell the boys and girls the first day of kindergarten they'd be little mathematicians and every day during math meeting, we put those math skills to work. We count down the days of kindergarten because we want to know how many days smarter we are. They get so excited. But after our math meeting, we get to continue growing in God's Word. We open up God's Word together and we share the stories and learn from the Word. We stand on the truths that we look at. We get to learn memory verses and and scripture and apply those to our lives. Oh, it's so fun. We truly grow, grow, grow. So after we do that special time in Bible, it's time to head to our specialty class. Every day after the, the morning math meeting in Bible, we head to the, that class for 45 minutes. It might be Spanish or computer class or the, the library. We have five special classes that we get to attend one each week. There's music and oh, it's a special time of extra learning. Then after that special class, we head outdoors. When we're outdoors, we get to play and stretch and have fun with all of our kindergarten friends. After 15 minutes or so, we head back inside and we begin our phonics time together. Phonics is a time where we learn our letters, we put those letter sounds together, and then before we know it, we're making words. We're reading. We read phrases, and then we put those together to read sentences. 
and then we're reading paragraphs by the end of the year. It's truly an exciting time. We use the Abeka curriculum for our phon phonics program. It's strong and very foundational. We also use the cursive approach uh, to the penmanship. So we start our phonics time, we're busy working, and then we have an early lunch right around 11 o'clock. So we have our lunch time, it's about a 30 minute break, and we come back to finish our phonics time. So we work really hard. I think you might start to see our pattern where we we're together, we're, we're working, then we're moving, we're playing, we're working again, we're moving. So after we finish our phonics time, we're back outside. We love the time outdoors. And if there's a problem with rain or it's just too cold, we have an indoor playground called the Play Zone. That's a lot of fun as well. After that second playtime, we head back for math. Math is a fun time to, to learn more mathematician skills, and we use the Saxon program. It's Saxon 1. That's first grade math. We break it down and learn skills every day. What I like about Saxon is it's a spiral approach. That means when we learn something, we're going to go back to it and practice it again, like during that math meeting time or the next week. So we really truly build upon those skills. After math time, we have a little brain break. Sometimes we rest, sometimes we, we just have a brain break time with doing something at our desk, but it is a time just to be still. And when we rest, I tell the boys and girls, oh, we're being still before the Lord. Let's just rest our bodies and think about just who He is and we put on some worship music. It's just a time truly to rest our brains and um, just relax. Then we wake up for our snack time and we have that in the afternoon. So we do have an early lunch, but we always have that snack time to follow. After snack, we, we talk a little bit about social sciences. We change those units. We started out the year talking about our bodies and how we're fearfully and wonderfully made. And then we might talk about the, the history, the, the community that we live in, our great state of Texas, the USA, the world that God created and that we live in. It is so fun to share with the boys and girls about the community where they live and, and their place in God's community. So, but the best part is the day is not over. We get to head to the gym at the end of the day. Every day, we have a 30 minute time of instruction in the gym with PE teachers. They love it. They get to have games and they learn control of different, uh, the balls and the hoops and the jump ropes. They love it. It is so much fun. So as you can tell, we are busy all day long. When we get back from the gym, we're ready to pack up, review our day, and get ready for our parents to roll on by and pick us up. We do have an after-school program called ACE, if that's necessary for your family as well. We do have bits of homework that we try to partner with our parents so they can see what's going on. There's usually a backside to our math, Saxon math page, and we love to have shared reading time with our parents. We want to share how much we're growing. It blows their minds because we are learning more every single day. This is our math meeting area where we put all of those mathematician skills to work. We have a top dog or leader every day that helps assist the teacher so that they can grow personally as they do their special math skills let me tell you about our five specialty classes. We have art, music, Spanish, we have technology and library. So each day our kindergartners get to attend a 45 minute class there. On Wednesdays, we gather together as a whole elementary school to worship the Lord together. Right now we're virtually in our classrooms, but we're all together in heart. What a sweet time to grow. Again, a time to grow in the Lord. Okay. Right. 
We finish our day with packing up and review. We send a daily conduct report that reflects from our ambassador virtues. All through the day, we're speaking truth and showing God's big love to our kids. And we get to share all of these characteristics with them. That's really special as they continue to grow in the Lord. I have been teaching here at Bethesda since year 2000, and I was a parent prior to that time. So you can tell I really love Bethesda. I hope you will too. Thank you for your interest. And if you have questions, please feel free to email us, call us, check in with us. We want to hear from you. Bye for now. Please contact our admissions team or visit bcsfw.org for more information. We look forward to having your future ambassador at Bethesda Christian School.